Okay, part two for uh, creating our landscape material, we'll add our other three layers to our material. Okay, um, this is this is pretty easy. A lot of this work is already done. We're just going to do some copying of nodes, and we'll add some textures for each uh, each layer. Okay, so do this. Uh, click and drag a selection box around this first layers setup. Okay, we're just going to move this all the way up here, and then. Let's see, how do we want to do this? Let's go ahead and find our textures. So um, the next layer, if you look here on our uh, layer blend, we're going to do our rock. Okay. So the textures for the rock, um, you know, I, I kind of just found what the best textures I thought were going to work for us. And you, you can really use any of the textures that you want here. Okay. But for me, um, these are the, the, the ones that I thought were, were the best. So for the rock, um, the first one is the T-Rock Smooth. So alphabetical order, so T-Rock Smooth. Let's see here, it's gonna be this one right here. So drag that out. And then the next one is T-Rock Slate. That's this one right here. And then um, the, let's go, um, T, let's see, this one, the T parallel noise, that one right there, okay, so that's fine right there, so we have those three textures, and we do kind of the same thing for all the, all the layers, okay guys, um, next, all you do is just click and drag a selection box over these three items, and then just hit uh, control C to copy and then control V to paste and it'll paste like basically where your mouse is and then you connect this grip on, uh, on the multiply node the same as you did at the top okay and then all we do is we just take uh, take this control C move the mouse down here control V and it'll uh, paste it where your mouse is. And then again, so kind of the same setup as we have up here. Uh, base color, roughness, and normal. So this one goes to base color. This one, what is that? What is it? This one's at normal. And then this goes to roughness. And then we just connect this to the rock. Okay. Next, let's go ahead and find the textures for our next layer. And we can move this down a little bit. Make this a little more space. Textures for the gravel layer. Uh, T-Rock Sandstone. T-Rock Sandstone. This one. This one. Okay. The D. Okay. Use this one, not the normal. So use the T-Rock Sandstone. It's a brownish color. Okay. Um, let's see what do I have here. Ground gravel, T ground gravel normal. So ground gravel, this one right here. And then we'll go T ground gravel D. Okay, so those three. And you know what? Let's just add the texture textures for the snow while we're doing this. Uh, they were not jumping back and forth. So for the snow, uh, there isn't like a snow one, so I just kind of found some white. So this T-frame M. And then I went with T-Rock Mesh M. T-Rock Mesh and This one right here. And then T-Macro Variation. This one right here. Kind of adds a gradient effect to the snow. Okay, and we can expand this again. You guys, everything in here is that's on the uh, textures in this starter content. Okay, I like this. Control C, we're gonna control V, and then control V again. 
might as well highlight this. Control C with the mouse where you want to put it. Control V and then Control V again. All right? And that's everything that we need, I believe. So we can go ahead and connect the way that we did before. Add and multiply to the texture. Sample UVs. Again, I'm right clicking and holding the mouse to move the screen around. Okay, so here's my snow. Let's move this up a little bit. This goes to base color. This goes to normal. This goes to roughness. And this goes to base color, normal, and this goes to roughness. This is my gravel, so I'm going to connect this to gravel, right? And then this is my snow. Connect that to snow. You guys, this is done. Done. So what you do is you hit uh, save. X out of this. So here's what you do. All right, have your. Make sure you're in uh, select mode. Select your landscape. Okay, and then what you do is you go to uh, landscape material two folder. There's my landscape material right there. Drag that into there. Okay, and then we go to modes. Go to landscape mode. set up for mine. This. Okay. So yours, you guys, yours, you're gonna have you're gonna have to this little plus button um, is gonna be visible. You're gonna have to hit plus. So hit plus and then you just hit OK twice. Okay for mine it's not showing up there yet. I already have two layers on here, two materials. Um, and then what you can do is you can start painting it. You have to hit plus and then hit OK, hit OK for, for each time. There's a couple pop-up windows that come up. And then what you do is you go to paint, okay? And then, you know, you can change the size of your brush, but you just select what you want to paint and, and then it'll paint it for you. Mine's freaking out because I have a couple different materials, but see how it's painting for me, okay? Um, and that's it. Then you change the size of your brush, change your brush fall off, okay? It makes it kind of fade into it a little bit more. But that's it. Really easy. Really simple. Okay? Alright, good luck.